Hi guys, Jack from The Journey here and today we're going to be looking at three ways you can improve your upper back posture. Now today we're going to be focusing on upper back posture because in the past 12 months a lot of us have experienced working from home, being in a kind of desk job situation where you will be developing postural issues through the position you're sitting in. So we're going to go into this little setup, a nice little example as to the things you may have been experiencing in those times. A seat that maybe doesn't have a lot of lumbar, lower back support, which then leads to that kind of upper back posture, bad posture starting to develop. And maybe a desk that isn't at the right height for your neck to be looking at or to be in the correct position to maintain an even posture. So we're going to be looking at the muscles that really become lengthened and weakened in that bent over kind of rounded shoulder position. It really starts to pull on the back muscles of our shoulder and start to really lengthen and weaken those but at the same time increase tension and tightness in our pecs major and minor muscles at the front of our shoulder. In turn, that starts to really pull on the front of your shoulder and develop that kind of rounded back postural position that you might tend to see yourself in after a long day at work. So first of all, we're gonna jump into an exercise that will really lengthen the fibers in your chest and start to alleviate some of that pain and tightness. So for this exercise, we're gonna get ourselves positioned in between a door frame. There's going to be three different positions for this stretch. When you carry out all three, you're going to feel more of a stretch in one of those exercises. That's the one you're really going to focus in on. So for the first one, we're going to start nice and high and we're going to split our stance. And what we're going to do is make sure our forearms are nice and flush against the door frame. What we're then going to do is just step forward and put a nice stretch into that chest. You're going to take it as far as you feel slight discomfort as it may be quite a deep stretch. You're going to hold that stretch for around 30 seconds and then you're going to come out of it. So now we're going to move into the middle position which is your arms are going to be around head height. So more in a kind of right angled position your arms are. Doing the, going to do the exact same thing and step forward and feel that nice stretch. In more of a neutral position now, so you're going to feel a little bit more of a different stretch in your chest. That might be a deeper one than before, it might be less. You're just going to feel that out and it'll be very individual to yourself. So once you've carried that out for 30 seconds as well, you're going to come out of it. We're going to get ourselves into this deeper stretch, which your hands are going to be now down at your side. So then you're going to just bring your hands out. Your hands are the only things that are going to be touching the door frames at this point. So then you can step out a little bit more and really lean into that with your chest, maintain an upright posture in all of these movements and really try and feel out that nice stretch in your chest. So now once you've done that, you're going to feel what one works best for you and what one you feel a better stretch in. You're going to repeat those exercises for four times, 30 second holds, and you can repeat that up to two to three times a day. So second of all, what we look to do is start to activate and build strength in the back of our shoulder, which will really lead to that upright, nice postural position that we're looking for. In that, we're going to target the rhomboids, which are the muscles in between your scapula that really help with the retraction and backwards position, upright position of your shoulders, as well as looking at the posture and position of your neck as when you sit for long durations of time, say looking at a screen, what your body tends to do is lean forward and move closer to what you're looking at, therefore creating a kind of chin poke position, really putting pressure on the ligaments and muscles in your neck and the back of your shoulder. So now we're going to move on to the second exercise, which is really activating those rhomboids, lower traps, and all the muscles really around those scapulas to help with that upright position. So for this exercise, we're going to position ourselves in front of a wall. You're going to make sure your heels are around six inches from the wall. And then what you want to do is lean back against that wall and bring your arms up into a nice W position. In that position, you're going to ensure your knuckles and your elbows are touching the wall. So with this exercise, you're going to really want to feel a good contraction and activation of your rhomboids, lower traps and upper traps to really keep these hands and elbows against the wall. With that, I want you to repeat this exercise for 15 repetitions, coming all the way down and all the way up and repeat four sets of that and you can repeat that two to three times daily within this routine. So the third and final exercise we'll be moving on to today is chin tucks. That's going to really restore that head position, nice neutral head position above your shoulders and take a lot of pressure off of 
the neck muscles and shoulder muscles that have been really overworking due to that postural issue being your head too far in front of your shoulders. And here's how we do it. So for this last exercise, you can actually carry out at your desk or on your chair. And what I want you to do is get your neck into a nice neutral position. And what you're going to really focus on doing is maintaining your head in an upright posture while driving that chin nice and back into your throat. And back out. You might feel this quite uncomfortable as it's quite an abnormal feeling, but you're going to really feel a little bit of kind of packing up in the front of your neck and you're going to feel quite an, a reasonably discomfortable pain in the back of your neck and that is those muscles and ligaments really stretching and getting used to that nice neutral position. So what I want you to do is all the way in, feeling that and packed up in here and the stretch at the kind of base of your skull and back up into neutral. If you feel that you've not got a lot of mobility in that exercise, what you can do is assist with both your hands, if not just one, pushing that chin back. And back here. So I want you to repeat that for 15 repetitions. So 15 of in and out, four sets as well, and you can repeat that up to two to three times also. So guys, I hope you give those free exercises a try and they really start to help improve your upper back posture. What you would like to do is repeat these exercises for a good couple of weeks until you started to see those improvements. If you feel like it's more than just postural issues you're dealing with and it might be a deeper injury or problem, please come along and see us at The Journey. The link will be in the caption and we'll be more than happy to help get you back to that full functional fitness that you deserve.